Here are the best highlights from the grand finals of the 2024 COD M World Championship between Elevate Esports and Q9 Club. That VOD, I'm sure that Q9 have been preparing for this exact matchup, but it's just a little few speed bumps that got in their way to get to this point in time. I can't wait to see how this plays out. I will let the two of you talk about that as we dive into the match. A best of seven. Elevate are going to have an advantage early in this season because they get the first opening map selection. That also Rahana. I think it puts an exclamation mark on how important these first three maps are then, especially for Q9. Walk away with one of these would be great. Summit is actually going to be the first venue, of course. We have not seen their region getting all the kills, but then pushing a little bit further forward. Does open. Elevate off the spot play. Yeah, looking because Elevate are trying to move this from the right side of the map. You know, you mostly just want to get as much time as possible, but get pop. Jet down low, KRM hidden like a man. Rai trying to make their move over to the left side of the map where our new hard point will open up. Elevate starts with spawns have occurred. Indeed the case, and the extra kills for Yopi. Elevate know that they need to push through this, so they're gonna commit the claw. Have stabilized and one back holding the opposite corner. Here comes the hit for Q9. Broken ankles, doesn't matter. Elevate. Or they did a magnificent job on the transition. Look at the ready. Probably gonna see a couple kills come through and might use it just to try to keep elevate. Right, slow flank coming through with the KRM. He's gonna get caught. Does do sort of contest, but Q9 still just too many members to deal with. Kendi trying to do what he can. But elevate quickly bounce right back in for the scrap. Gotta be careful with how far forward you push here if you are elevate giving up the Whoa. opposite side of the map. On the catwalk, trying to make his way in, but net by Sun Sparrow, who's really getting to work with it now. Good read on where elevator are coming from. Loses the last charge of it. Now has to go back to the Fennec and the map finally will subside. Elevator on the better side of the map with scrap time still left to fight for here too. Susano will jump in to contest. Lots of damage. He will find a kill in it. actually end up happening over inside of the car itself. War Machine. Pure fire behind this push from the front. Curly's able to clean things. And when you look at just the stats from left to right. For the sponsor to get into the hard point first. So Kendi now has to take us to 10 20s on both three and four yeah. for one side or the other. This is about as tight as it gets. This moment in time. Starting to push a little bit forward. He's actually going to catch a couple of spawners off guard. Able to find two more. There's still one hanging around the joint. It's Yopi. Easy cleanup. Will come through. There's a rogue player trying to hit again. 25 seconds to fight. Contest this in. Smoke making a mess. Both relevant to use, and as they come off spawn, they do so beautifully. Just value after value. 220 to 225. Not enough time for Elevate to so in here, but Q9 absolutely can. Glow from the back line. Only finding one. The rest of his teammates right there to pick up. Tie game. Put this thing pretty well with taking the fight back, but Elevate are winning good oh, fights no. on rotation. Not going to be needed. Elevate now earning the time that they need. Only need four more seconds. The crossfire setup looks perfect. Can anyone break it if you're Q9? They're trying to hit a pit. And Elevate take their hard point for map one. Down in slaying, down in score, but never out. Elevate cracked the code. At the end of P4 going well, Elevate consistently through that summit hard point were exquisitely uh, exceptional at it holding hard points from the front before the break inevitably came through. Susano, what a hell of a map number one out of you, yeah. young man. 53 and 39 with a minute. More individual gunfights than I would like to admit. Just got like their opening Swiss matchup. They lost it. On this firing range. Again, just to reset up everything. Firing Chips. range is a venue these two teams know yeah, quite well against one another with Elevate having the edge. Yeah, casual 22 rounds. Trying to re-clear out the backside of trailer. Easier said than done as Q9 already had the post plan set up. What a sick high-low after a, a blistering pace for a first round out of the site. Initially, there is an elimination from Susana, but the trades are timing right there. Looked like there was supposed to be a defensive stun to force that challenge, but it just slides off, finds two. PJ oh, behind. Oh, again, uh, I mean, going back to the interview, just in They're trying to flood this from the front. Contact to a mid. Jay has to force the issue. Nothing there. Perfect from Q9. Yeah, Susana loses his life. It's over. Yeah, absolutely is. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, there's really, there's two ways that Elevate could deal with this. This is the old-fashioned way. Just got this first player. Oh, but Susano does go one for one. That's fine, especially with another teammate nearby. Damage is out, but close. Give Ooling an opportunity. All the trigger discipline. Shots to the second. Ah, not going to be able Hey, this is only to give Elevate something to worry about in middle and casual, but it's being held by Yopi. Considerate of the space, he still holds down the trigger. Get it down, but it's still numbers advantage for Elevate as Clo finds trades at mid. Clutch position. No. He's going to round this corner. He's just going to get from Elevate on this defensive half. Just making sure to elevate is a play through trailer curly looking for an off angle that works out for one trade but can't feel the need to try to push forward instead chen gets caught same could be said as a trailer in a 3v5 nice opening oh, again the numbers advantage likely too much a hit marker comes through waiting for this hit to come all the way through and it's gonna have to be at this point nice shot flow watching for the pinch motion from check for the defuse does he get forward in time no get down mr president curly's able to find the kill and q9 it does land though so they're gonna have an idea that chen's in position this is an important run and that's all the information Information you need right there. Chen Wait. swings wide. He has an LMG. Good couple kills come through the nade bounce. If you're Chen up to the uh, first dude, he's yeah. gonna get cut down from behind. About the 4v3. 
advantage to Q9. Candy around the back! What? And now all of a sudden, Q9 forced to have to defend from inside the site. Cloud trying to follow up, and he's gonna find the final. The barrel. Smoke denied by Trophy Sista, mm. but Sun showing too much Show to get here. Klo already in the mix. He's got the shots from the back line. How about Elevate? Oh, it's all down the trail. Ah, seen at mid by Susano and Elevate. Driving a massive edge in this grand final. A massive edge indeed. I ask, you cannot ask for these maps to be any closer unless it went to round 22, much like it did about a week ago. But Elevate is going to be an interesting, man, because Elevate very much so find themselves three in the Swiss stage. I don't like the chances for Q9, but I love being proved wrong. It's going to have to Fighting early success, and you were able to take them down here. You're going to need all of those opening map number three versus X-Rock, plus a little bit extra. Elevate. Elevate is, is their map selection for the controls. They will start on offense, and PJ is already off and running. Three, please keep laundry safe, but the Q9 defense is being tested. Can't the window Q9 try to force it on the ladder. Good macro decisions coming out from Elevate, but Mauchi off over towards laundry. They're on the zone. Second ticket progress is looking good. And look where Q9 are spoilers. Kendi stunned up. Top side ring. <laughs> Kendi, unbelievable shot. Zone. Q9 down to a 4v6. Make it. Sari, the contest is not going to be coming in close enough. And a 1v6 just impractical to ask for. An opening. The Annihilator has another Pred missile to work with. And the shots just aren't missing. PJ, five in a row. Working for an EMP. He's just one off of it. The Pred gets called in. And Q9 are getting battered as now all of a sudden Yopi's adding oh. insult to injury. Ah, it's beautiful. Sheer destruction, sheer bloodshed, and it's Elevate all over. Game yeah, we'll of towards A. The Mauchi and Uling are, are starting to push. Might be a very good bait play, but it just leaves Mauchi. What is left in a 1v2 would have to get three kills in a row. There's the second. Stun coming over. 19 is the second to progress. Is about Still sustaining and holding on to all five operators. So that gives you an opportunity. Q9 only spent one of the operators. So yes, they're going to be down 0-2, but they will have a lot to play with going into round three. I mean, window. Q9 around the back. Not able to find success off the penny. Being torn apart as no one could find it. Elevate. Yopi's going to call in a Predator missile. It will find Just Diving in. And they're getting torn <laughs> apart. PJ for three. B zone likely already gone. And Q9 have been blasted out of map three. Elevate are going to be on championship point. Ready. I thought we were loaded into a raid control. We got to get the dinner or something, Elevate. What's going on? Q9 just had no response whatsoever. And everything that we were gassing them for, uh, what made them so good versus X-Rock, just was not existing at all. And not for a lack of trying. The opening break-offs of the setup. Energy plus a little bit of extra. Should they start this reverse sweep here on Hacienda? I've never seen a sign. The crowd right here. Yeah, we had a statistician in the crowd today. It's good to know. Bottoms, I'm going to keep them on. It's probably for the best. Yes, sir. We're in public. Had to get through Wolves. Had to get through X-Rock. Had to get through Q9. And that's just that CDSI. That champs. And so far, it's been good. But Not just for the first time, but also the second as well. And open up with a good 10 seconds to Susano. Well, Susano does not get forward into the Q9 windows. They're finding kills on the flank. So now it's just down to what spawn occurs. And then Elevate get the freest angle they oh. had across the Lambo. Somebody's going to have to watch that very beautiful car. But Q I know that there's going to be conversations. It may have already happened. I'm sure Bobby's already making a team is not going for the sexy Odin plays. It's type 19s. It's ground. And a hard point. Do not adjust your screens. Elevate are up on championship points should they win this map four. Indeed the case. We will be starting off what looks to be uh, for, uh, here we go. 67 to 19. That was weird how we spawned it. So we still have a full P3 to fight for. Yeah, let's not forget what Elevate did do once they had all of their operators available. So here we go. All of a sudden, Q9, a little bit of extra life. Center coming over towards the P2 side. Up and over. Kennedy trying to find some different angle to make a move, but not going to work out. One more shot with the Sparrow land. Bold break attempt further as Q9 are a bit stuck over towards Lambo. Chen tried to use to 69. Going back towards P1. Ugg's coming through from Elevate. A lot of focus down low, but look at the upper hallway control again. Klo is a problem so long as he continues to run these routes. Every Elevate just have been equal to every task thrown their way. As the scrap at one starts to fade away, and now we look towards the minimap. What happens towards P2? They're going to have to fight back a whole lot harder, though, Alan. 132 to 85, and Klo is just been to the point. That works out nicely. Curly following up with the eagle. And Elevate, well, they might just have to concede it, but they're trying to take yeah. advantage of this pinch that comes through Chen, but the pure fire shuts the majority of it down. And he's got himself on 
Kendi playing over the well, though. A difficult spot to deal with, and that's why. Being infested, it's shrouded by the Predator missile for them to move forward. Yes, yeah, Susano has to already being pressured. PJ is trying to step into the smoke. How has he managed to do that? How has he managed to do that? PJ! What are we talking about? What a three-piece for PJ! Chen and Curly trying to hang on, not able to do so with Susano! Between these two teams, 15 left to fight for split spawns have occurred, but the ones that spawned over by office were dealt with from Q9. So now they're trying to push all the way from the fences side. Make sure they keep all the 10 seconds. Every single kill that is being found on this side of the map is First. beneficial for Q9. Points or so if they could get into the early time. Contest is here. Already. Could be the difference maker in between flipping elite fully, but it could just be the gunny that is getting the job done. Susano down low will find a trade split spawn dealt with Q9 hold. I oh, love this gravity gun play. Although, Mouse Smoke, Susano, good read, able to clean up Uling. Now it's just out there. What else can he find? And part of me, is that Smoke even on screen? Susano is blitzing everybody. Now on three in a row, can get more time to try to bring this back to level terms. Q9 now on the unfavored side, but it's 50 50 battle over the top of V2. Got the fight for it. Elevate spawning close. Here comes Susano, able to get the first. Tracks onto the second. Oh my goodness. Here, find the opposite side. All over the mantle, tough timing, but still finds a way to get to the back driveway and elevate and through this smoke elevate are not going to be denied as they will make sure every single second is contested yeah chen's going to just die at the point part. opens q9 have the numbers what can pj do q9. fine curly is going crazy right now 47th kill for them in this map number four 228 and counting on up but pj still hanging around the joint is able to combine for two sun's nade at least finds a trade on the club Whoa. all this time is damning an elevator getting closer to the lead that q9 has. Q9 a bit split as Elevate just run right in. It surprises Q9. 24 to 230, the rotation was on the pier. Fire call by PJ, and he is locking down the upper halls. And he knows exactly where Q9 are coming from. No operators available for Q9 to respond to this, but they still find the shutdown. Now it's down to Klo. Over the top, he's able to find one. Equalizer called. Needs to fight shut back. Curly shut down almost immediately. Four dead. Five. But the Cod Gods have given its toughest challenge to its strongest warrior. And at the end, there are no more questions. This was the fifth major title Elevate had won this year. It was simply an unbelievable feat. Garena had finally conquered the world.